I promise hitting six figures and beyond in your business is not out of reach. I'm gonna break down the three things you can start doing in your business right now to finally help you hit that six figure number, but more importantly, help you start getting consistent monthly income. And this doesn't mean you have to work more or hustle more or create more, but it does mean more strategic work. If you're ready to hear my three part strategy to six figures and beyond, make sure you hit that like button right now because we're going to dive right in. So I'm going into year seven of online business ownership, entrepreneurship, but more importantly, I've consistently grown my business every single year since year one. And that's all while having two small kids at home. My first year in business, I had a one-year-old and a newborn, plus the last two years from 2020 to 2022 in the in and out of childcare and quarantining and all the fun stuff that the past two years has brought. With all of this kind of in my rear view mirror right now, I've come to realize there's three main strategic tactics you need to be using in your business to get to six figure years and consistent monthly income. These three tactics are services, products, and traffic. Now I want you to think about these three things as the legs to your business stool. Without one of these, your stool's not gonna be very stable and it's going to fall over. So to create a strong, sustainable business, you need all three legs in your business stool. Get it? But I'm gonna dive into each one of these and what I mean exactly by products, services, and traffic. Plus, at the end, I'm also going to share with you how you can easily jumpstart all three of these legs with some recommendations on what to do next. Let's first jump into products. Listen, there are only so many hours in a day, and if you're juggling having childcare or not having childcare, and you're working during naps, you have even less time in your day. So you've got to get strategic on what you're focusing on in your business to help you generate consistent income. You're also, with that limited time, probably not gonna be able to hit that six figure year by offering some type of service because you just don't have the time to bring enough clients on to hit six figures in your business. And I'm not saying to give up your time with your kids, you can totally do that. But that's why I'm talking about products right now because this can supplement the other leg in your stool. So when it comes to products though, you also need to realize you're not going to get to six figure years either with something under $50, like a $7 printable or a $19 workbook or a $47 mini course. That takes up a lot of purchases of that particular product to hit $100,000 in one year. And that's not even talking about the traffic that you need because on average, about 2% of people that land on your sales page or your offer for your product will convert. We're gonna need a calculator for this. So if you're selling a $10 product and you wanna make $100,000, you've got to sell that sucker 10 thousand times. Not only is that 10,000 people, but you need to make sure the traffic you're getting to that page is higher than that because only 2% of people that see that page are going to convert. That means in an entire year, you have to get 500,000 eyeballs to that $10 product to make $100,000 in one year. That's why I would not recommend having a small ticket item as your main offer. Instead, I would focus on a product in the $100 to $500 range, because those are a little bit easier to sell than say a $1,000 program or up, but helps you get to that $100,000 in a year easier with less traffic. Because again, if we do the math, and let's cut it in the middle, let's say you have a $300 course, you need to sell that course 334 times in one year to hit $100,000. Now, how many eyeballs do you need? At a 2% conversion rate, you need about 16,667 people to see that page throughout the entire year. So honestly, making money in your business is all a numbers game. And I will tell you, in my last launch that I held in September, 
We got around 1,400 eyeballs on our sales page in about 10 days. That's with a YouTube channel with 50,000 subscribers. That's with an email list with 20,000 subscribers. So when I'm telling you about traffic and eyeballs to that product, that's how you're going to make the money. You have to make sure you have the traffic, which is what we're gonna be talking about here in a moment. 15,000 people on that page is a lot easier than half a million people on a page, right? But how do you create a course, an e-course, a digital course, or a digital product that will sell and that will be really good. I highly recommend investing into Funnel Gorgeous's course, Course Chemist. I've gone through this program to update Video Strategy Academy. It's what upgraded us from Video Strategy Academy 2.0 to 3.0. And the amount of comments and the amount of results that I get now in 3.0 after going through Course Chemist is totally on a different level than when I first created this program without Course Chemist. Now, if you are catching this current video in real time, we all know Black Friday is right around the corner and I have it on great authority that Funnel Gorgeous is going to be offering a sale on their course chemist program. So I've added the link down below. Yes, it is an affiliate link, but I 100% believe in this program. I've gone through it. I've implemented it and that's why I'm recommending it to you and why not get it when you can get it on a deal during Black Friday. So go down there, go ahead and bookmark it, save it for Friday. Okay, so now products or courses, we can use those interchangeably, are just one leg of your business model stool. Very much required, but not the only thing that you need to have in place. I would actually like to know, do you currently have a course or a digital product? Go ahead and tell me below, and in fact, link to it. I would love to check out what you all are creating, what you all have, so link to your course below so I can check it out. But even with a course or a digital product, and if you are just getting started, it's still gonna be pretty hard to get to six figure years. In fact, year three, four, and five of my business, I was hitting multiple six figures in my business, but it wasn't coming from just my course. I truly believe if you're just getting started out or you're having a hard time to get to six figures, you need to be adding a signature service in your business stool. Now I say signature service because you need to understand it needs to be one particular service. So it's easy for you to do again and again and again because the biggest mistake that I made while I was making multiple six figures in my business, I was taking on any job that came my way and it wasn't scalable, it wasn't sustainable. So instead I really focused on offering one thing, my YouTube production agency, listing the things Things that included if they wanted something else it was not in there or they had to pay more because if you have a signature service it becomes easier for you to do again and again and again faster and you need to understand you don't need to book yourself out solid with clients in your signature service because I know some of you are like oh services Trina I didn't want to be tied to like my desk and have to answer to somebody why can't I just go all in with digital products having at least one service in your back pocket to help you have consistent reoccurring revenue is going to help you get to six figure years and beyond. It's also going to give you that reoccurring revenue to help you hire or get help. So like I said, if you have your signature service nailed down process by process, you can then bring somebody on to help you take care of some of that work. So you aren't spending all of your time in your services. In fact, I got to that point this year that I had my process and my agency so nailed down that I had two account managers basically handling my entire agency for the last six months. I really only oversaw what they were doing. I checked in, I answered their questions, I checked in with clients, but I was not doing the main work, which allowed me to create a new program 10K on replay, my group coaching program, and that's allowing me to get even beyond half a million dollars this year while not even working in my services part, but still making money over there. And trust me, if you would have told me five years ago, this is the story I'd be telling you, I'd be like, absolutely not. I don't wanna be a service provider. I wanna sell courses and make passive income and sit my ties on the beach. Well, 
it's not going to work that way. And this framework, this three part stool, so to speak, is really what I have found to work best with my clients time and time again. But maybe you're still on the fence and you're like, Trina, I really don't know if I can commit to this. You know, I have children at home, some get sick. I wanna spend more time with them. I got a couple options here for you when it comes to a service. One of the services that you could offer are VIP days. And in fact, my friend Mackenzie Matter, who I hired for multiple VIP days, does these two to three times a week. That means she's only really working two to three times a week on client work, and that gives her two to three days doing her other business stuff, building out her digital shop. And I'm gonna tell you, she pretty much stays booked because I have to book her at least a month in advance to get a VIP day on her calendar. You could also do retainer services where a client pays you for an allotted amount of time throughout the month. So you're not necessarily required to be at your desk, you know, nine to five. You create that contract with your client saying, I'm gonna work for you 10 hours a month. Um, as long as they don't need you certain hours of the day, you should be good to go. In fact, I do this with my content writer. I pay for 10 hours of her copywriting, turning my YouTube videos into blog posts. And if I go over those 10 hours, she charges me for more. And she's only allotting 10 hours a month to me. So this can really help you figure out how many clients you need to help you get to six figure years while also saving that time in your week to work towards more of those courses and those products that help you as well. I'm gonna tell you, there's a lot of freaking work you gotta do as a business owner and you gotta do many different tasks to make this all come together. And I will say here that you have the power. It's up to you to do as much or as less service work as you wanna do. But when you're getting started and when you're trying to hit that first six figure year, I highly recommend adding in some signature service into your business model. This is also gonna help you get better creating your courses and your digital products because you're in the thick of it, right? You're learning what clients are struggling with, what clients need help with, what clients are loving, and you can incorporate that into your courses, into your programs, programs to make them even better. But hold up, before you decide to book any clients, there's something you have got to have that is so incredibly important, and that is a contract. I'm telling you right now, do not do any kind of work without a contract in place. Unfortunately, there are cruddy people out there, and by having a contract in place, you're at least gonna have some kind of safety net to back you up if you happen to run into a cruddy person. And trust me, I know this because this has happened before with me, and my contracts have saved my butt more than once. Now, the best place that I would go to get a contract for your signature service would be Christina Scalera's contract shop, who, yes, you guessed it, is hosting a Black Friday Cyber Monday sale starting on Friday. And I'm telling you, this is the time to pick up her contracts because the sale she does over Black Friday is awesome. And there are two particular contracts that I would recommend for you if you're doing the course route and if you are doing the services route. So the services route, I would recommend purchasing the independent contractor contract. This is what you are gonna send to your clients to just cover your butt, ensure that they are required to pay you, have some type of legal documentation that shows what you're expected to do, what your deliverables are, and when you purchase the contract shop's contracts, she has broken down everything that you need to do to really make sure that contract is good to go when you send it over to your client. The other contract that I would recommend if we're going back to the digital product and courses leg of your stool is the terms and conditions and privacy policy for your online courses. This one now has saved me a boatload of money because again, you're gonna get cruddy people into your course and they are going to try to steal your content or they are gonna try to get their money back. And if you have your terms and conditions and your refund policy all laid out before they purchase it, this is what saves you if they decide to do a chargeback on your credit card or on PayPal. If you have that contract signed, if you have that contract agreed upon before they purchase it, 
you save yourself so much money. So while Christina has this sale going on over the weekend, go over there, grab one of these. There are other ones available over there as well. The VIP day one is great if you're gonna offer a VIP day, like I mentioned Mackenzie does. But I'm telling you, you need to have contracts in place in your business to save you not only money, but so much headache. And yes, I am an affiliate for the contract shop as well. Now, before I talk about this third and a final leg in your business stool, have we overdone this analogy enough yet? I want you to leave a comment below if you're gonna grab one of these Black Friday specials, course chemists, a contract, or are you looking at something else? Let me know what you're purchasing over Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So the third and final leg is traffic. So remember at the beginning of this video, I did you know the calculating to see how many eyeballs, how much traffic you needed to a page to actually make the amount of sales that you needed to hit six figures? Well, content is what is going to drive you traffic to that page. Content as in YouTube videos, Instagram stories, reels, TikToks, LinkedIn posts, Twitter, you know, all of our social media favorites. But as we look towards 2023, I'm going to tell you right now what the trends are showing us. And it's that if you aren't creating some type of video content in 2023, it's really going to be hard for you to break out and get traffic to your offers, your products, your services, your courses. Now I have loads of content here on my channel about how to get started Started with YouTube, how to get started with video, and I will leave some of my favorite videos in the description box below for you to catch next. But I don't even mean you need to go in that deep as into like actually starting a YouTube channel to get started with video. I'm just asking you to get started with video. Grab your phone, do a reel, do Instagram stories, do a TikTok really. Whatever you can do to start creating video content. And I know, I know you, you wanna make sure your video content looks professional and you wanna have the best equipment to make it look really good. So I've actually set up an Amazon shop that is listed all of my favorite video equipment. So if you're looking to get started with a YouTube channel, I share the Sony ZV-1 is my favorite camera, which is what I'm recording on now. My favorite mic, which is my Rode shotgun, mini micro shotgun, which is what I have on right now. And my favorite tripod for YouTube videos is my Joby Gorillapod, which again is what my camera is on right now. If you're looking for more a smartphone recording, which is what I do when I film my reels and my shorts, I share the clip on ring light that I use, the the Rode Lavalier Smart Mic that I use as well, the ring light that I'm using now. So head on over to my shop. I will link it down below and it has all of my favorite video equipment or my video equipment must, as well as some other of my favorite things like my favorite books and requirements that I need in my office to do the best job that I can do. Because so I'm going to tell you this right now, that if you aren't creating video content, Reels, TikToks, YouTube, it is going to be incredibly hard to hit that six figure year. And honestly, like I said, you need to nail all three of these products, services, and traffic to get there. There is one more thing that I do in my business to really make sure I'm generating enough income in my business. And it's based on these eight lists that I've made to help me make more money in my business. Check out the video that is on your screen right now because I dive into what these eight lists are and how you can start creating these eight lists to help you get to that six figure year in 2023 and even maybe make more than six figures. See you over there.